Let's fix if your verification code is not received. Now, if you're trying to get a verification code from any of different like social media platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or your iPhone itself, I'm gonna show you how to get those verification codes. The first and easiest thing we'll want to do is we'll want to add the phone number that that service uses onto your contacts list. This is a really good way to ensure that you will get that text message every single time. So I'm gonna open up a web browser. I just typed in what number does Instagram send codes from? So whatever you're trying to get a verification code, you can just look that up. And here you can see Reddit is a service here that has um, a thread on this. So you can see if I scroll down, it's 32665 is the number that all of those verification codes come from on Instagram. So if say Instagram is what you're having issues with, of course do this for whatever service you're trying to get a verification code from. But this is a really easy way to make sure you get it. So I'm gonna go into my contacts. Here's my contacts. I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna type in Instagram and add the phone number 32665 and hit done. So basically what I've done is I've added that as a phone number in my contacts list. So anytime they text me a code, it will just pop up that I know that number. Now, another thing that you can do is let's go back out of here and hop into settings. We'll want to make sure that you're not filtering out any of these text messages. You're actually getting SMS, all that stuff. So we'll scroll down until we get to messages here. And you're gonna to toggle on and off a few different things. First, iMessage, we will toggle that off and then toggle it back on and wait for it to activate. Now, let's scroll down again and you can see there are a few different things. One is send as SMS. This means text messages and all of these verification codes come as text messages. So I recommend turning that off and then waiting for a bit and then turning that back on. A lot of times this resets the verification or resets that SMS so you'll get the verification code. Now, another thing you want to do is where it says filter unknown senders. You'll wanna make sure that is toggled off. If it's toggled on, just toggle it off because ultimately that will take all of those text messages that are verification codes and send them to another folder where maybe you don't see them. Now, the last thing that we'll do in here is we'll check our block contacts. So you can see I have a long list of block contacts. You'll wanna go through here and maybe you just wanna delete out all of these block contacts or look for ones that have kind of shorter numbers. So this normal, you know, seven digits and then three, area, three numbers for the area code, these are usually normal numbers, but a lot of times those verification codes will only have the shorter numbers. Let's scroll through here and see if we have one that we could unblock. Let's scroll to the bottom here. I'm not really seeing any ones, but say you had a short phone number that you wanted to unblock. You could always go in there, just swipe to the left and then hit unblock on some of these phone numbers. If potentially that's the reason you're not getting the verification code. Now, the last thing that you can do is we wanna make sure you have a good cell phone connection to your carrier because ultimately that's how you're gonna get that text message. So the easiest way to reset that and do that is just to press and hold the volume up and the power button and we will just slide to power off your phone and then restart it after that. So by turning your phone off and then turning it back on, it will reset that connection with the cell tower that's wherever you know nearby you. And basically it will hopefully send any of those text messages that were lingering and not able to get to your phone. They'll get to your phone and then you can log into whatever you know account, profile, whatever you want to log into. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.